segment on the technical fisherman we're going to demonstrate for you the uni nut. It's a very simple and versatile nut. Um, we like it a lot, certainly one for you to know. It's great with many types of lines, mono and braid. So we're going to get into it, show you how to tie it, and uh, again definitely one to know. So you're going to need a good amount of tag end of line to work with when you tie this knot. We're going to put it through the area we're connecting, in this case the eye of the hook. Give yourself a good long section of the two lines being parallel. And then create a good sized loop. So here's my loop. Here are the lines running parallel. And then you're going to create a series of wraps. Good guidance as far as the number of wraps is four to eight times. I would trend towards the higher side in the case of braid or thin mono and trend toward the lower end with uh, thicker lines or, or thicker mono. In this case we'll do four wraps. One, two, three, four. And again we're just wrapping that around the parallel uh, section of lines within that loop. You can pull your pull the tag end of your line. You'll see that knot start to cinch down. And now in this case I'm going to pull it down to the eye of the hook. I'm going to pull that tag, get it tightened up, pull back on the main section of line. Now it's snugged up pretty good. So I'm going to trim the tag off. And there's one iteration of the uh, uni nut. We're going to give this a pull. We'll see how many pounds the line breaks. Looks like our scale is uh, at eight and a half to nine pounds. So on 10 pound test line, that would imply an 85 to 90 percent break strength of the original line. Again, that's pretty good. That's uh, at a high end of a range, and one of the reasons, other reasons, we like the uni nut.